you all check this out. So I went to the gym and did my workout. And when I left, Matt was still in bed. And to sleep, it was dark. But now I come back and everything is pretty much done. It's done. And ready for us to go midday today. We've got Brady's crate, the black water stuff and the hose in there. You've already put up the hammocks. I to get firewood, but I needed the truck. So now that you're back with the truck, I can start putting things in it. So. Oh. And then that's it. Everything's Seriously, clean. and yeah, if you look in here, the laundry is laid out. Everything is cleared off off of the countertops so that it doesn't go flying around whenever we travel. So right now we're leaving it right here. Care packages that I put together. So everything's pretty much ready. I'm pretty much the luckiest girl in the world. You're saying that loud enough where I feel like you want something. I'm very lucky. Yep. Hey, by the way, I'm just kidding. I don't have anything in mind yet. <laughs> More coffee later. Everything in here is still cold, although it's a little tossed around. We actually have a really nice campsite here. Good job. That's really nice. It is so hot outside right now though. Look at this. Look at this. So now we gotta make a target run to get litter and food for that thing. Let's fix your ear. Here we go. And then that thing. I'm not having some bean and cheese tacos and I'm gonna make a salad. Do you need your key? All right, so today is Tuesday. So we had our first night at the campsite here, and now we've got the dogs, and uh, we're heading out. He's already been downtown Georgetown. Yeah, so I talked to a few businesses down there. Um, notice everything kind of is spread out, so I really can't talk to a lot of people like I was hoping, but I was just hoping to get the, like a feel of the community, but there's some it's a really cool downtown so i'm showing blair right now and then uh, we're going. there's also a place called blue hole that we can just i, I parked there earlier to make some calls so uh, might as well show her that too yeah if it's not raining which it's sprinkling right now so we're not quite sure what the weather's gonna do we're hoping to walk around in that area and then there's a gym that's about five minutes from here called the house of gains with a z mind you <laughs> Um, that I'm gonna go to later after we have lunch back at the trailer. Kind of nervous about going to a new gym because I'm super comfortable at mine and I know everybody and they know me. Um, and going to a new gym is always kind of. What if they're mean? Scary. Yeah, pretty what much. If what if they don't like me? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how that goes. All in all, I'd say it's going well. Burgundy is hanging along, using her her litter box. She got her food in the bathroom. Uh, we're using our toilets. <laughs> Everything is good. Everything is a-okay today. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the vlog and we'll see you soon. In the oven. So what you're gonna do is turn that pilot on. Okay. Push that in while lighting. Now you, oh. you hold it in while lighting all the way in the back out of there. I don't like this. You want me to do the lighting part? There you go. Mm -hmm. up to 400. I don't know where you want it. Hey guys, so it is Friday now and we are in the process of packing everything up to go back home. Next time you see us, more or less, we will be back in San Marcos. So overall, um, what do you think about this place? I like this place. I think I like it more than the place across the way, even though I've never been there. Jim Hog. Yeah, it's just like there's this nice cliff and it just looks over the, the lake. I mean, y'all yeah. saw our view from it the is, back window. It is really nice. It feels safe. Um, I don't really know a whole lot about RV parks to rate it just yet since it's the first like official one we've been to, I would definitely recommend it to anybody passing through the Georgetown, like North Austin area, Cedar Breaks Park in Texas. It's pretty, pretty good. Yeah, we're gonna head home. Um, overall, it's a good week. I got my work done per usual. Hi. He got his work done, correct? Yeah. 
He was the one that I was more worried about because I always work like this. I always work from home. I've been doing it for about four years now. I had a good time, even though we didn't really do a lot while we were here. We just kind of hung around the campsite. But It's just a normal week. Yeah, it's just a change of scenery, which is nice. Wouldn't mind doing this a little bit more. We yeah. Can. It's kind of like the warm-up before the long-term trips because this is what the weeks will be like whenever we're gone, like, farther away. Um, he's got to get his work done. I got to get my work done. I got to get my workout done. We did all of that this week, so. Yep. Eh, high five. to say thank you guys for watching this vlog. I know it's kind of going backwards in time because the trip was right before this guy's leg accident. Leg the accident. We, we never really got a chance to sit down and talk about the trip afterwards because we went to the rock gym and then he got hurt and then that was it. I made all the calls I needed to. I, I mean, I got a lot of follow-ups, which is good. I mean, that's what I do. Um, and so, yeah, and I like to go back to as well. And a few of the people there that I spoke to already know about my leg. And so they already said, you know, I'm going to run back on my feet to come see him. So it's good. Does that mean back on crutches? I guess so. Just moving around. Back on crutch. Yeah, because back on my feet. Back on gonna, a foot. It's going to be a while. <laughs> but I do have one request. <sighs> Burgundy comes with us on future trips. She did so well in the car on the way back. She was a pain. What? All we need to do is get her a little kitty harness. A lot of people said get her a harness and tie her off to a tree whenever you're outside and cats do just fine. Maybe. That's a yes. That's a yes. Well, we've got a ways until our next trip, or a while until our next trip. Eh, just to um, uh, tell them off. Things are kind of up in the air at this point as far as when our next trip will be because of course we have to get him better. So yeah, we need to get him at least fixed up a little bit like and a month or two. so that he can um, actually do things with the trailer, whether I drive or not. So we want to thank you guys for watching. Um, I know the video was like a little mixture of a bit of everything from the week of traveling, but it was a good trip. Very successful, I would say. We enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I don't know about you. But... Yeah. It's like I blocked everything out of my past. <laughs> out of my mind. Nothing exists before yeah. the leg. It's just the leg now. I do miss our trailer because we're staying here in, in his parents' house because it's a little more accessible. Um, now- They have the sweet chair. If the circumstances were different, you know, we would be making it work in the trailer, but we're fortunate enough to live close to his parents and have a lot of family and friends that we can reach out to for yeah. help. And so. hopefully we'll be back in the trailer this next week or maybe two weeks from now. I'm hoping like after your, your next surgery, yeah. we'll be back in the trailer. I'll be in a soft cast. It'll be a little more enclosed. Stripping water everywhere. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Um, and be sure to go and check out, check out, check out, check out. <laughs> Canadian. Check out our uh, Patreon page. Um, I'm posting updates on our little homeless care packages, and we're about to do our first giveaway for all of um, our patrons on there. So we can do that this weekend. Okay. What am I doing, right? I'm just gonna sit here. Uh, but yep. I'll be a fun out there. Oh, okay, bye. <laughs>